Hi, this is JP from Northern Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Eye of Chaos episode where we pick a random investigator, build a chaos deck on ArkhamCDB.com for that investigator and try to do the best we can in the Midnight Mass scenario. So, uh, we have my remaining uh, investigator tokens that have not been in this series yet in this bag, so let's pick one random unlucky investigator and see what we can do. So this time's unlucky uh, <laughs> investigator is Carson. So um, Carson is maybe the least playable in true solo, but we'll give it Carson a shot. Uh, yeah, um, for Carson we have to pick a secondary uh, class, so uh, I'm still not sure which one I will pick, but let's go over to ArkhamCDB.com and start building the deck. So let's go over there. Okay, and we are over on ArkhamCDB.com and let's start building the deck for Carson. So Carson, uh, we need to pick a secondary class. So I'm we have been playing a bit heavily on Seekers and Survivors, so I'm picking Mystic. Yeah, let's go with Mystic this time. So... Um, uh, actually... Uh, let's go... Yeah, yeah, let's pick Mystic, why not? Okay, so we'll push the Chaos button and see what we get, so... Okay, uh, 45 automatic, so at least a weapon, and a blackjack, another weapon, and a double-handed weapon, 45 Thompson. Boxing gloves, so this is a really fighter-heavy, the runic axe, oh my god, we only have weapon assets so far. Uh, heavy first, well, some damage, so tool belt, utterly useless. Uh, then we have Alice Luxley, well, uh, yeah, it's soak, beat cop, um, more soak, venturer. Well, if we try to use the weapons, at least we have venturer to reload those. And then we get handcuffs, uh, okay, well. Oh yeah, and uh, I forgot to say that we have two copies of the 45 Thompson. Something worth fighting for, some uh, um, sanity soak there, a lot of events, so we have one eat lead, uh, one get behind me, mm, let me handle this, calling in favors. Well, this is good because we have three different allies, so we can try to get the venturer out, or get the beat cup out to get uh, better fighting or Alex to get better investigating skills. Eldritch in initiation, uh, not, not good. Ethereal form, well this could help us evade something maybe. Glory, uh, if we defeat an enemy we can play this to draw two cards. Okay. Interrogate, uh, not good. This, that. Moonlight Ritual, useless premonition, well, that could help us. Oh, and uh, prepared for the worst, well, helps us find one of those guns we have, or weapons. That's okay. Read the signs. Uh, well, maybe we can get some clues with that. Spectral Razor helps us fight a bit. Tempt Fate. Okay, it's it's pretty me mediocre. Interpret and uh, self sacrifice and steadfast. Okay, those were the skills. I I'm not sure if we can even play as you wish. Yeah, we can't even commit this to another player's skill test because yeah. So those are dead cards. Okay, our random basic weakness is drawing the sign. Okay, well, I will be building the Carson deck, and we see how well this goes, so, yeah, 
not having high hopes for this run, but we'll try to do the best we can with Carson. So without further delay, let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to start with Carson. So the deck is built and uh, shuffled. So let's draw our opening hand. One, two, three, four, five. I'm hoping to get... Well, I, I don't know what I'm hoping. The deck is just awful, I, in my opinion. Well, we got one ally, which I will keep. I'll keep the interrogate. Yeah, um, I'm going with this hand, not changing anything. So, first action, I'll play Alex Luxley. This at least lets us... Uh, Investigate a bit better. Second action, we'll uh, try to investigate this location. Uh, three versus two. And I'm not committing anything, so three versus two. Minus one. We'll grab actually a clue. The last action, we'll move to River Town. That is our whole turn, no enemies, we'll go to upkeep, we draw the runic axe and gain a resource, so that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a doom, and counter card is an acolyte. Oh yeah, there should be a clue. I'm actually putting the acolyte into the graveyard, so my plan is to go into the graveyard, get a successful investigation yeah, and deal one damage to an enemy at my location with Alice Luxley. So that actually helps us a lot. And I could actually interrogate. Yeah, that's actually better. So I'm leaving this clue here. I'm moving to the graveyard, interrogating, and when I discover the clue at my location, that kills the acolyte also. So that's a good combo. And we have the resources for the Interrogation. So first action, we'll move to the graveyard. Two clues here. We'll have to test uh, willpower uh, two versus three. So I'm committing interpret to the test. So we're testing three versus three. And if we succeed, we get boost to our intellect, uh, combat and agility. Well, if we don't, that's okay. Minus two, we fail, so we take two horror. I'll take one here, one here. And then I will play the interrogate. So I'm testing combat three. This test gets uh, plus one difficulty where axis the chosen enemy's damage value. So it gets plus one difficulty. So we are testing two versus four, three versus four. Well, we'll see if we get uh, lucky this time. Zero, uh, close spot, no cigar. So we don't take any attacks of opportunity because it's a parlay. Uh, that sucks. It would have been a really good combo wombo. But uh, last action, we'll take one attack of opportunity and investigate uh, three versus one. Minus two, we'll grab a clue and Alice Luxley exhaust to deal one damage to this cultist here. And that is our turn, no enemies, we'll go to upkeep, a useless card and a resource. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a doom, encounter card is... Is heart of the order, so yeah. Any empty location? I, uh, yeah, this is going to be a short game because we can't deal with this guy. We don't have a weapon, and uh, of course, we could put it on a location with two clues on it and go investigate for us. Which, unfortunately, this is the low shroud location which has two clues. And Alice only deals one damage per turn, so that's not good. Mm. 
here. I'm just placing it uh, here. So our Doom clock will go really fast in this game, but nothing we can really do about it at the moment. Uh, first action, I'll draw a card. Second action, I'll spend these clues. It'll reveal Peter Warren. Okay. Would have wanted Herman Collins to appear here, so we could have just uh, defeated him. Uh, last action, we'll investigate uh, three versus one. Cultist uh, managed to place one doom on the nearest cultist enemy. Oh yeah, this got one doom. Now it gets a second doom. And we still get the clue, and that is our turn. Uh, enemy actions will go to upkeep, tool belt, and a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom and count the card is hunting night guns. And we add one doom here. So we are advancing next round. This round we need to get rid of this damn night guns or at least evade it. So. I'm playing uh, Ethereal form. Uh, so we are evading 4 versus 1. Yeah, 4 versus 1. Minus 4, we fail. Uh, we are evading 2 versus 1. Yeah, I'm committing this. So, 3 versus 1. Minus 8. And we are evading uh, 2 versus 1. Yeah, I think this is the nail to the coffin here. Uh, we evade this round, but that doesn't help us. Uh, we'll go to upkeep. Uh, enemy face, nothing happens. Upkeep, we draw glory and gain a resource. This readies, engages us again. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom, so we advance. This guy gets one doom on him uh, at the end of the middle phase. So we spawn the mask hunter on us. So, four fight, six health to evade. Uh, hum humanoid cultist elite. And uh, it's pretty much over. We don't have the means to deal with these enemies. So, I'm just trying to evade the mass counter first. So we are evading 2 versus 2. Don't have any skills to commit. Uh, minus 2, place 1 doom on the nearest of this enemy. We fail, we try again. Minus 1, we'll try again. Minus 1, no dice. So, enemy phase. These both hit me for 3 damage and 2 horror. So I'm uh, down to 2 health and 3 sanity. I'll actually put 1 damage here. So uh, 3 and 3 on myself. Uh, upkeep, we draw blackjack, no help there, and gain a resource. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. And counter card for this round is an acolyte. Okay. We'll put anywhere. Doesn't matter. We have to basically just resign here. So um, my plan was to get this clue move there and defeat Peter War and resign maybe, but we don't have that uh, option anymore. Uh, yeah. Uh, we can try one evade. Move. 
Okay, we'll try the one evade on the mask hunter. Nothing to commit. No dice. Uh, we'll move. We take uh, attack of opportunity, so two damage. And uh, two horror and Alice Luxley is defeated. And last action, we will resign, dropping our crew here. So, <laughs> as I predicted, this w didn't go well with Carson. Uh, Carson's uh, not just uh, made for true solo playing, so uh, with a uh, really specifically built deck you could play him uh, successfully in true solo, but with chaos deck we just don't have the correct cards in our deck to do anything uh, well. Uh, so we got one experience from the graveyard and that's it, and uh, uh, that's everything she wrote, so Hope you guys like this playthrough, thanks for watching and until next time.